Hey guys, what is up? It's Jamie, Farnsworthy Vending, and today we're gonna to be talking about Vensoft, which is a program that I use every time that I go out in a route, and it has saved me a lot of time and a lot of money. It really makes things so much easier for me. Unfortunately, the video was super long, so I am gonna be breaking it up into two videos. I'm gonna edit like a 10 to 13 minute segment, put it out there, and then I'm gonna edit the rest of it and put it out there as well. However, normally I would split these up in two weeks. I'm actually gonna do this one right after the other, so you guys will be able to see the whole thing if you wanna sit through and see the whole thing. But if you don't have the time, you can come back to it, and it's really not a problem. But this is something that's super important, and you guys really, really wanna have this for your collections. All right, guys. If you're interested in actually using Vensoft, there is a uh, link in the description below that will help you get there and really help you out with your day. Let's get into this. All right guys, so welcome into my Vensoft tutorial. Today I'm gonna to be talking a lot about Vensoft because this product has really, really made a difference in the way I do things. And it's actually saved me a lot of money over the past couple of months. So this is your homepage, it's your dashboard. This is where all your basics will show up, and we'll get to this in this video for sure. But I really just want to run through the basics of what I do when I go on a collection and how I use this program. Now, the first thing I had to do is I had to go into my inventory, and I had to create products for everything that I have. Uh, to create a product, you simply click on Create Product. It's going to generate a code for you. You can use whatever you want here. You can change it. Um, to whatever you want, ASDF, you know, you can do whatever you want to do here. Um, you name the product, I suggest using capitals in the beginning, and definitely name the product what it is, because we were naming color stuff at first when I first started doing this, and it was wrong. It was just really hard to find stuff later. So make sure you name it exactly what it is, no matter how long the name is. Name it what it's supposed to be. <clears throat> now you got different types. You've got beverages, obviously a soda, drink. You got food, this is gonna be your snacks, hot foods, cold foods, everything. Hot drink or ingredient, if you guys do sandwiches or stuff like that, and a cold food machine. So you have all those options. I don't use a lot of this yet, but it is a really good startup point if you already have a vending business. I really recommend getting Vensoft as you're starting though because it's a lot easier to enter things as you get them than it is to enter everything that you've had for like five years into a program. But it's worth it in the end, even if that's the case. Vensoft has been awesome to me. I love this program. You'll enter your product, your name, your type, all that good stuff. If you're up there, you can get the barcode, how many units come in a case, your reorder point. This will uh, give you a report on your dashboard product that you need to order and in your reports as well. We're not going to get into reports today, but if you guys want me to make a video on that in the future, let me know and we will definitely do that. You have your initial setup quantity, the cost of your initial setup, and the total value. You enter every product that you're going to need to enter. The way I did this is I would go out and I would buy a variety pack, right? and then I would enter the products in the variety pack, and then I'll come right over to purchases, and I'll grab my receipt, and uh, we'll create a purchase here. Um, I'm not actually gonna save it in the end, but, oh, I can't do that yet, hold on. Did that wrong. So we're gonna click on variety packs, and we're gonna create a variety pack. So what I did is I clicked the create button, I name the variety pack, Butterfinger variety pack, or whatever it says on the variety pack. And then I'm gonna take and add product. And it's all those products we just added from inventory now are gonna be listed here. And you can just select them. Or you can type in, we'll write Skittles so you can see it. It'll type in what you need. And then the quantity that are in the variety pack, and then you click save and it'll show up. You just keep adding them until you've completed the variety pack. We'll get out of this real quick. So now you wanna go over, you're gonna create a purchase and add your supplier. Um, if you haven't got it here yet, you just add it here. Um, I have Coke, Walmart, and um, I have someone who wants some other products, so I just pull it right out of here. Uh, so BJ's Wholesale <clears throat> is where I get most of my product. The date is usually the same day. I try to enter these right as they come in. Uh, the only time I have an invoice number is when I make an order from my bottler, and that would be Coke. And I don't really write notes unless there's a discrepancy in price or something, uh, but I haven't 
you know, I, I just can't think of any other reason I would need it. But you guys might have reasons for it. So it is there if you need it. You can do one of two things. You can add product. Uh, we'll say Snickers. Right, so there's your product. We got one case. There was 24 units in that one case, and it was $14.99. Now it's going to tell you what it cost per bar um, <laughs> and your total cost. If you hit the save button, your total amount is going to show up here. This amount should be the same as what's on your receipt at the end of the day. Or you can add a variety pack, and this is what I have been doing. We'll say the 30 count Butterfinger pack from BJ's, right? We got one pack. I know for a fact that it cost me $17.99 unless I have a coupon. And we'll hit the save button and you'll see everything pops up. The quantity that's in there pops up and the price of each item pops up. And uh, it'll add it straight to your total amount in the end. And then what you can do is use your scanner or if you're on your cell phone with this, you can get on your cell phone on the website in your cell phone. And that's my favorite way to do this. Um, and you can actually click choose file. And on most phones, your camera option will come up. And you can just take a picture of your receipt and put it right in there and then save it. I'm not going to save this because I didn't make a purchase today. But uh, it will load into your reports, which again, we'll get into later. Now it's in your inventory. You've purchased all that stuff. It's in your inventory. So now it's time to move it to a machine, right? You're going to be grabbing all this stuff, and you're going to be getting it ready to go out on a trip. Now, before I do that, I just want to briefly talk about machines. To set up your machines in this program, it's almost like setting it up in real life, only setting it up on a computer. It's a virtual version. Now, I'm going to use this... Uh, this is actually a USI. I need to change everything in this. It's actually a USI satellite machine, uh, combo <coughs> snack and soda machine. So I'm going to click view edit, and then we're going to go into edit because when we do this, this is what the setup looks like. This is what it's going to look like when you hit create machine. In Vensoft, it's going to generate a code for almost everything that you put in, but you can change this code to whatever you want it to be. Um, in my description, I usually write whether it's a, I usually write what it is, um, the RBC 660s, AP 113. Um, this was one of the first machines I entered, and I didn't actually know what it was yet. I was still learning. Um, but this is a really good example because this is also a machine I lost my key on. Now, when I lost my key, I had to have a locksmith come because I didn't know the key number. I had no idea what it was. If I had entered this correctly, I would have actually been able to come into my system, get the key number, order the key for five bucks, and I would have been scot-free. would have been good. But you enter the description. It's going to have a whole bunch of options here. Uh, is it a bulk machine? Is it a cash up front machine? Is it a cigarette machine, a coffee machine? Is it an honor box? So this applies to you honor box guys as well. Um, is it a juice machine, a snack machine? Now there's some combo machines that are snack and coffee. Um, is it a soda machine? Is it soda and snack? Toy and capsule? Uh, it, every option that you could possibly have. This happens to be a soda and snack. It's actually a USI. I don't know the model, so we'll change that right now. USI. Don't know the model, so I'll have to write that down on my next trip. I'm not going to show you guys any of my keys, but you enter your key number here. So if you ever lose a key, you can just order a new one because you're going to know what the number is, the date you purchased it, how much you purchased it for. Um, and then if it has credit card sales or anything like that, I'm pretty sure there's a way to link those. Um, I'll get back to you on that once I've actually done some work with it. But then you just save. And because I already have this machine, it's not going to do it, but it will pop up with this screen. So you can start adding columns. Now, pull this back up. When you add columns, you're going to want to match them right up to what the actual column says. That way it's easier for you to do this. Um, but again, the product you entered, it's going to sort from that list there. So you just click whatever you entered. Uh, you create your column name. 
G7. I usually capitalize this stuff. I just put my cap locks on and hit G7. Uh, your max capacity, maybe it's a 10 size coil. Um, I really hope it's not a 10 size coil on Baby Ruth. But <clears throat> your price and then your last count. Uh, we're not going to save this because I've already got this machine set up. But uh, this is just another reason that Vensoft is such a great program. I love that it keeps track of things so thoroughly. All right, guys, so we're going to cut this video right here just because we're starting to get up there in the time frame on it. Now, if you guys want to use this program, there is a link in the description below. You can get it there. It's actually pretty inexpensive. I pay like 19 bucks a month for it, and I love it. It saves me that much money and expired product alone, which is really good. Now, um, the next video we're going to talk about pre-kitting and uh, the process where we print out service sheets, pre-kit sheets, and all that good stuff. And we're also going to talk about the mobile app that has to do with this. So guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Remember, my channel is supported by Patreon. Also, a link in the description below and usually in the first comment if I remember to do it. Sometimes I don't. But anyways, guys, I love y'all. Remember to do me a huge favor. Love life and live your dreams. Peace.